So, in the, one of our latest posts on pythonprogramming.altervista.org, uh, we discussed about glitch.com and the way to create an app or a blog or wherever it is uh, on, uh, on the web with Python 3 and Flask. So I made some sites with Python 2 and Flask on Glitch and then I discovered how to how easy it was to use Python 3 and the version Python 3.5 and from uh, from uh, um, an Ubuntu server that uses um, that got Python 3.5 on it that, that we can use to launch our server with Python and Flask and um, now I found uh, an even easier way to do it um, from someone from glitch.com that made uh, this project with uh, just uh, three files with files that are glitch.json, requirement.txt and server.py where requirement.txt uh, just got flask in it we just have to save this file um, requirement .txt with flask that is the only module that we need to install in uh, on the server and then we have this uh, we need the glitch.json to for the configuration of everything we need to launch the the server that is the you see in this json uh, file here the install uh, pip3 install user requirements txt to install the um, the flask module and then um, you, you start python 3 and launching server.py that this is the third file that we gonna need and then well you just have to uh, copy and paste this from from my blog and to save it as um, dot json uh, file and as we said so glit, uh, glitch dot json requirement dot txt that is the one with flask this is the configuration file that will start um, so we don't need we didn't even need the start dot sh file because it's all in here you see here it start include the requirements txt include uh, um, .py and the start is sh once you've done this you just have to deal with the main file that is the server.py file and that is this one where you can see uh, from flask import flask you create the app with the instance flask and in parentheses the um, dunder name and then you create your page <coughs> the view uh, with the function hello and it just returns hello world and then you run the this application this is the uh, created with the decorator app.root and in parentheses and uh, you get the uh, uh, right uh, slash and that, that is the main uh, root of the site and so if you um, launch the site you will see this hello world in it of course this is just hello world but you can uh, um, then use render template to use some template in html and make a website site in all its beauty and you can uh, look at my other post on the blog where where I, I explain how to make your HTML page with Flask. But this is the starting point. And you see it's just um, this configuration file here, this uh, Flask requirements in TXT here, and just these four, five, how, six lines of code to launch your, um, your server with Flask and with Hello World. So this is the simplest way to use Python on the web. I don't think there is 
a simpler way and on the on the internet now and it's also free and if you look at my the other post that I got on my site on, on YouTube you will see how easy it is to create a a site with uh, with flask and so I recommend you to learn this and to take a look at this um, uh, this other post but here you can just um, see how it is easy to start with just these few lines of code in Python to have the wonderful um, way to use one of the best and the um, easiest uh, language that now we can use that is Python and we can use it to go and create our website too or app and progressive web app not only to use it for um, working on desktop and this this is cool thank you and we will make uh, maybe another video about this uh, in the next post thank you